Hey guys! It has been a while since I last did a hair update and updated you on my hair care routine and uh, length and everything. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to talk you through everything I do with my hair on a regular basis. How I take care of it, how I style it, everything like that. Sorry if you're hearing a lot of background noise. They're laying down a new road right in front of my house. So yeah. I know, sorry. So I think I'm gonna start with the washing. I have been able to stretch my washing period by one day, so I now wash my hair once in four or five days. I would never have thought this was possible, but yeah, I managed and now I only have to wash my hair in four or five days. I feel like it also helps to keep my hair healthier and I have been taking some other steps towards making my hair more healthy. Um, one of them is trying not to sleep on wet hair, which is a horrible beauty sin I have been committing for the past couple of years. And <laughs> uh, yeah, that is probably the worst thing I do to my hair, is sleeping on wet hair and I do that all the time. So I've been trying to cut that down and use a hair dryer on my hair when I've washed it. Um, this is the one that I use. It is the Philips Pro 2100W Ionic. Ha um, hair dryer. This one adds negative ions to the air that is blown which is better for your hair and it also has this um, little setting in the middle that blows air at I believe 52 degrees celsius which is a pretty mild temperature. And I still think that blow drying my hair about once in a week um, is better than sleeping on wet hair. I've been trying to do that more often, failing a little bit, but still I'm, I'm trying <laughs> so hard to not sleep on wet hair anymore. Second thing also has to do with sleeping, I have been sleeping with my hair in a bun. I don't know if you've noticed, but I've been wearing my hair wavy or curly more often, um, either curled with an overnight kind of heatless method or um, curled with heat which is usually after I filmed a Beauty Beacons video because I often curl my hair in those. I like to try and preserve those curls and sleeping with my hair in a bun really helps. And it also just helps prevent damage to my hair in general because I toss and turn a lot in my sleep and I think a lot of ha damage happens then when I'm kind of rubbing my hair against the pillow with my head and stuff like that. Okay, so moving on to my actual washing routine. I still use the Organics um, or OGX, I believe it's called nowadays, Rejuvenating Cherry Blossom Ginseng Shampoo. It is still my favorite. I haven't come across something that's better than this. It smells amazing. Yeah, it's still, it still works amazingly well with my hair. And as for the past few years, I am still avoiding sodium lauryl sulfate on my scalp like the plague. I do not want that stuff near me. And and this is sodium lauryl sulfate free, which is awesome. So stand by this shampoo. Uh, I have gone back to using conditioner, however. In my last update, I kind of shared that I had stopped using conditioner again in an attempt to avoid heavy silicones. Um, but after that, I found one, a conditioner that is silicone free. I found this at Action. It's a Dutch store. Um, it costs like one euro 30 or even less than that, which is a ridiculous price for a conditioner that is really awesome. I have fallen in love with this stuff. It is very runny. It doesn't contain silicones. Don't know if I mentioned that, but that's the number one reason why I bought this in the first place. It's called the Argan Care Conditioner, but it works so nicely. It really moisturizes the hair and it, it just makes it feel so good and it doesn't weigh it down at all. And it smells nice as well. So yeah, I've definitely been loving that. I wrote a review of this on my blog. Yeah, big fan of this. We'll be going back to repurchase. I mean, it's 130. Come on. <laughs> And then another thing I've been testing out lately, um, I've been sent this, this thingy, little gizmo. Um, <laughs> this is a shampoo massaging brush. Okay, I don't know if you've ever tried one of those kind of scalp massaging things that has like the, yeah, I, you, I'm sure you know what I mean, right? Um, it kind of gives a very similar sensation. You're supposed to use this when you've applied shampoo to your hair to kind of massage it in and massaging your scalp really helps uh, kind of promote blood circulation which is supposed to help your hair grow. I have heard that, um, I mean I heard that the first time way back when I still went on the long hair community forum and everything that scalp massages are awesome for hair growth. Yeah I can't confirm that yet because I haven't been using it for that long that I'll be able to notice a difference but guys it feels so good and it does really help um, give your hair a deeper clean because you're really massaging that shampoo in and it just feels so nice. Um, there's a button on the top here it's waterproof so you can use it in the shower. It has a button here it's, it, it vibrates and oh my gosh this feels so good guys. So, um, I kind of just... 
I use this to um, gently go over my scalp. They say it's supposed to reduce dandruff as well. That's a nice added effect and yeah, it also helps make your shampoo lather a little bit more, which is also nice and oh, it just feels so good. Scalp massages are the best, guys. I must look so ridiculous right now, but I don't even care because this feels so good. <laughs> So yeah, I've been using that to kind of massage in my shampoo and then when I apply my conditioner I use this to um, brush it through my hair as well because I mean it's just it's a hairbrush and that really helps distribute my conditioner evenly throughout my hair as well. I apply conditioner from here to here by the way, um, only on the bottom part of my hair and I apply shampoo only on the top part. So yeah, scalp massage. Another thing that this also really helps with is save my nail polish. I have very brittle nails and nail polish doesn't really last long on me. Washing my hair always makes it worse and makes pieces chip off and everything and this saves my nail polish from that because I don't have to kind of like massage it in with my hands anymore. I can just use this brush. So yay, added benefit. <laughs> I'm just gonna go again, this is so good guys, oh my gosh. They have um, given me a coupon code by the way as well, if any of you guys want to try it out, I will post it in the description bar below. Um, but that is kind of my washing routine. So when I go out of the shower, um, I will either let my hair air dry or use this kind of blow dryer. And when I'm using my blow dryer, I like to use this brush as well. I still sometimes do the whole blowout thing that I have a video of. If I don't, I'll just use this to, to make my hair a little bit airier and make it um, dry faster. And I like to blow dry my hair upside down because it gives a lot of volume. It gives so much more volume than when you blow dry it the normal way. And blow drying also helps my hair from being frizzy. I have a lot of baby hairs on top here and blow drying it just kind of helps to smooth those down. Like I mentioned, I like to wear my hair curly or wavy more often these days. And for that, I often just use the Sokban curling method. It is my best and most trusted hair curling method. I just, I just love it. I can't help it. Um, so I use that a lot or I will just twist my hair into a simple kind of the most normal bun you can imagine. Just twist my hair, wrap it um, around itself and then secure it with a hair elastic. That just gives very nice kind of loose waves. After a couple of days, I like to use dry shampoo in my hair when it starts to get a little bit greasy. I have been using this Aussie Miracle Dry Shampoo. Still haven't gone through it, but it's almost out. And when it does run out, I'm not going to repurchase it. I'm going to buy another um, Batiste dry shampoo. I have one, but it's at my parents currently. I I've written a review of that as well over on my blog and I really like that because this one gives amazing volume. It's really good for volume, but it does make my hair feel very... Well, you can very much feel that there's something in my hair and I can't really rub my hands through it anymore. And it's just a very dirty feeling. And when I've used this, I do want to wash my hair the day after. Uh, whereas the Batiste dry shampoo, I feel like I can layer that for a couple of days and my hair will still feel clean as if nothing really happened. It's just, it just looks a lot cleaner. I believe Batiste is pretty much pure starch. I like that more for kind of casual dry shampooing when I'm not looking for awesome volume necessarily <laughs> and that is it other than that i don't use that many hair products on my hair um i try to keep everything light you know again since i'm only washing my hair once in four or five days i don't want it to be full of products so so that's kind of my washing and styling routine as for the color this is still my natural hair color in my last update i mentioned that my hair got on lighter over summer and that i was expecting it to get darker in winter again which I'm pretty sure it did happen and my hair is a little bit darker again. Um, I like this color, it's, it's my natural hair color. I don't plan on dyeing my hair anytime soon, so I think I'm gonna stick with this for now. As for the length, um, yeah, you can, it's harder to see now because it's curly, <laughs> yeah, that's my microphone. But yeah, my hair is a little bit shorter than waist length right now because I trimmed it pretty recently, but I am still maintaining it um, around waist length. Who knows, maybe this thingy will make my hair grow a little bit longer, which I would definitely, definitely welcome. <laughs> yeah, I believe that is all. If you have any more questions, anything else you'd like me to answer about my hair, leave them in the comments below and I will go through and kind of answer your questions in the comments. Um, but that's all that I have for this video. So if you liked it, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more hair videos. I want to thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.